That could be fun. We'll see. We'll see. It has to be ones I've leveled up, though, because I need universal perks equipped. I mean, you don't have to do it on a different killers. So you don't have to bring no... This is the most you way to do an achievement. I like taking it a challenge, you know? I'm just going to unlock this just to see what killer it is. It's almost certainly Wesker. If I take this, though, and then I drop it on the ground, nobody else will have to unlock it later, right? Because it won't just, like, teleport back inside the fucking thing, will it? That'd be the dumbest shit ever. So it must just stay there, and everybody can see its aura, so... Okay, it's corrupt. Corrupt on Wesker's weird. Like, why would you put corrupt on Wesker? He's so fast. I feel like it's a huge waste of a perk. Throw on deadlock instead. I feel like if your perk, if your killer does not benefit from uh, corrupt, put deadlock. If your corrupt, if your killer does benefit from corrupt, put on corrupt, and then see if you need deadlock. Like, if, see if you have space for deadlock, then stick on deadlock. I feel like that's just kind of the, kind of the like rules you should live by this patch right now. I like to turn achievements into like little challenges, right? Like they, they have the guidelines and then I kind of edit them a little bit. So that way it's kind of like a challenge and I feel like I've earned it. You know what I mean? I mean, to be fair, Corrupted slow him down a little bit. But like, if you saw where he went, he went to this house anyways. You know what I mean? So if you have a good game sense with a fast killer, you really shouldn't use Corrupt. Like, it's just not worth it. Like, he's down a perk now. You know what I mean? He's only got three perks for the rest of the game. Did it really do that much? I guess. Not particularly, though. We need to do these gens, because I'm pretty... I'm, I'm starting to be pretty certain that this gen in here always spawns here. Watch it not spawn here this time, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, he has deadlock and corrupt. Interesting. The fuck is he? He gets hit there, yeah. So he's deadlock and corrupt. I, I really don't think you should run corrupt on Oh I can heal you actually. Um I really don't think you should run corrupt on Wesker. Like if you don't have any other good perks, fair enough, but definitely not a good perk I'd say. It's like meh. If you have good game sense, if you're a fast killer, like, good mobility, you don't need... You do not need Corrupt. Maybe on Wraith, actually. Wraith has good mobility, but he could still make use of Corrupt because his downs are quite slow. Even then, though, I'd feel like I'd prefer not to use it. Wraith has, like, other perks you can take advantage of, like Nurses It's very good on Wraith. Oh, I should have dodged it. Fair play. She is paying more attention than I am. I am streaming, though, so. Thinking about the stream and chat and all that. He doesn't make it here in time. <laughs> you see his fucking legs running as he's fucking coming towards you, though? <laughs> They're fucking going, man. Hmm, there's a gen inside. Where are the gens outside, though? I don't see any. Weird. It's usually always at least one gen on the road. I don't see one, though. There's no gen on the road. Weird. Let me get that totem. I really want to get a cool fucking quick and quiet inner strength play. Like, while in a chase. I think you kind of need a flashlight to do it, though. Well, you don't need a flashlight, but... Flashlight helps a lot, especially against better killers. He's gonna see the killer instinct when she's done with that. Is he gonna come over here because of that? No. He's still chasing the Nia. The Nia's doing a great job, honestly. Go Nia. I didn't feel gen spawns perplex me sometimes. Those two in the house being like guarantees should really not be a thing. I don't know. Static, too many static gens like that is pretty bad. I mean, to be honest, this map just kind of fucking sucks. 
Like, it's just not a good map. Look at this fucking loop, by the way. It's so dumb. He finally gets her. This map just fucking sucks, honestly. Does he get it? Wow, he gets that? Okay, we threw. We threw. Oh, good job. I think because of the slowdown, though, he still doesn't get that. Oh, I didn't get a fast fault. My bad. I tried to cut the corner too much. Oops. That's bad. I gave him a lot of pressure there. Me and the uh, Kate. We kind of threw, to be honest. I really thought two hits would be enough there. I really thought two hits would be enough. I should have moved and let the Kate take another hit, and then I could have deadhearted. I really thought two would be enough. I thought he walked quite far, but... Oh, to be fair, he did pick her up instantly. Maybe that makes a big difference. That was a good hit. I'm going to crawl away. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Get me, get me, get me, get me, get me, get me. Get me, get me, get me, get me, get me. Get me. Nice. Okay, we recovered. Oh, is he going to tunnel the Nia? Oh, no, maybe not. I'm going to the downstairs... Is he chasing me? Oh, good play, actually. Good play. He's not. He's not terrible. He's not terrible. I thought. I, I, that was a good play. That was a good play. I didn't think he saw me, and he played that exactly how he should have. He pretended like he didn't see me, and then went for the swing immediately. Well played. Well played. I wasn't sure how visible I was there. I thought, ah, fuck it, I'll stay here, and I'll, I'll drop the pallet on him if he comes for me. If not, I'll be fine. To be honest, I was thinking about trying to quick and quiet into one of those lockers. I honestly maybe should have just immediately done it. But, uh, but I ran to the pallet first. I was thinking, okay, I'll place this pallet, then I'll drop the pallet. And then he'll break the pallet, and I'll quick and quiet into a locker while he's breaking it. And then I'll come out fully healed. It'll be crazy, crazy big brain plays. But that is not what happened. <laughs> he honestly completely outplayed me. I got owned. We have honestly kind of fed this game to him on a silver platter. Like, we fucked up really bad. I guess me, specifically. Because I thought we could, I thought we could body block that, honestly. She's trying to get a two hook, but yeah, I mean, she's just gonna trade. She's not dumb. They have bar time and movement speed, so yeah. It's gonna be a trade, but trades aren't that bad, honestly, all things considered. As long as uh, somebody's pressuring gens, we're not in a bad spot with trades. Oh, he's coming back, Kate. You're in trouble. Yeah, you need to run. That's fine. Oh, I ran into a tree. I did thought I could get through that gap between the tree and the hook, but I could not. This has been really bad. <laughs> we were doing so well that we just threw this game so badly. He's playing it well, though, with our throw. It is Haddonfield, so... Without Haddonfields, he might be able to do a lot better. He seems to know what he's doing. Haddonfield's just a very rough map. The Sheva could come and save me, and then he'd be in trouble. If the Sheva trades, we win, honestly. Like, he can't camp here if the Sheva comes and trades. If she understands that, we win. 
All she has to do is run straight at me and get the trade. That's it. And those two just need to get on gens, but they're not, so. Yeah, and the Nia's coming. This is bad. Yeah, this is GG, probably. It's gonna snowball from here, basically. Yeah, he's gonna kill the Kate or the Nia now. So, we're gonna be in very big trouble. We just need to do a gen. I mean, maybe two of us get out here. I think that's best case scenario, though. If he's smart, he won't, um... He won't chase the Sheva, either. The only chance we have of, like... Two of us getting out here, I think, is if he chases a Sheva. I need to leave. Yeah, he's chasing the Neo. We're fucked. That sucks. I don't know why all three of them came in for the save, especially when two of them were dead on hook. Like, it just needed to be the Sheva. But to be fair, she wasn't looking like she was acting with any urgency, right? So. Maybe the Neo can do some crazy chases, actually. She was doing really well before. So you can see the cans, like, it's worth just, like, opening them and throwing them on the ground, honestly, so that people who are infected can get rid of it quickly. Just open it, throw them on the ground, if you're nearby. Oh, fuck. See ya. <laughs> Help played, motherfucker. Help played. Help played again. <laughs> they call me the master out player. <laughs> now that was legendary. Oh, he finds me here now, I think, though. Yeah, GG. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm dead as hell. Oh, I ran straight into him. These leaves here are quite strong, though. Maybe we can get some crazy value with Quick and Quiet here. Nice. Into a locker. Let's go! <laughs> Dude, the fucking making him vault the window is so fucking good. That's such a fucking good, like, counterplay, too. It, it's, it might be a little too strong, but it's so much fun. Seeing him vault the window, like, him falling downstairs, like, him vaulting that window, not too big of a deal, right? Him vaulting the top window, though, holy fuck, that loses him so much time. You know what I mean? Like, that fucks over the chase completely like he should have been a little more careful if he was that close you can dude i honestly can never know where he's coming from um oh that was good that was good well played well played mr whisker well played we don't get this in time Maybe we get this in time, actually. He had to go very far for a hook, but he is Whisker. He is Mr. Whisker. He went... Upstairs? Is that all you Interesting. Man, he must have had no hooks nearby. Yeah, he destroyed that one. I'm running for the fucking exit gate. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Oh, she's gonna die, and then... Oh, she needs to just loop long enough. Loop long enough so I can escape! I want to leave! I want to live! I took the long way around. I honestly might die because of that. I think she dies. And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. There's nothing I can do to save her. 
That's just a big old GG. Watch out for Blood Warden. And then we leave. GG, honestly. That was, a, that was a fun game. I really didn't expect to live after that one. I thought I was dead for sure. Oh, I should stay to make sure, see if she can Kobe, though. She might be able to Kobe. Nope. Alright. That was a good game to end playing Ada on, though, honestly. Because we're going to go for Adept Ada now, and then I'm just going to uh, switch to a different survivor. Start leveling up somebody different. So that was a good game. That was fun, honestly. That was a, that was a very fun match. Oh, we had Superior Anatomy and Bamboozle as well. God damn. We had both. I don't think this works with your power, though. GG. Uh, we honestly almost threw that match. Like, that was real bad. That was almost really bad. Oh, he has this. Interesting. That's not that much of a meme add-on, though. Because usually when you hit people, you're quite close to something you can bound into, right? And then he also has this to counteract the memeness. It is a little bit of a meme add-on, though. Um, he did have Deadlock and Corrupt. I think Corrupt's bad on Wesker, man. I think Deadlock's good on pretty much every killer in the game. Some killers can get a little bit more value out of it, like Pig. But I think Deadlock's just overall a very, very good perk. We'll probably get nerfed soon. Corrupt, I think you need to pick on specific killers, and I do not think Wesker is one of them. Um, and I don't think Superior Anatomy works with his power, so it's not really worth using on Wesker, to be honest. Bamboozle does, though, so there is, there is, um, there is reason to use it on, on Wesker. GG, though, that was a super fun match. Super fun match, and hopefully that should be enough blood points to level up Ada to P3. We'll see, though.